All right, what's up, guys? It's Hayden. We're back here with another video reviewing another car. I have Austin. We have Austin here, and we got his beautiful Mazda Speed 3 here. Uh, Austin, what year is this car? This car is a 2013. 2013 Mazda Speed 3. Yes. And uh, what all do you have done to it? So right now it's got a full bolt-on Cork Sport exhaust, uh, um, Cobb air intake. It's got a Cobb Stage 1 tune on 91 pump gas. It's on BC Racing coilovers all the way around and uh, Cork Sport sway bar lengths. And it's also on 1552 wheels. And they got Eagle Sport tires as well. Yeah, and I. I really like the setup. It looks so clean, especially with the white. Uh, this thing looks really awesome. Do you have any future plans with the car? Yeah, so I want to lower it a little bit, and I also want to get a front mount and air cooler eventually soon. Um, in the next couple of years, I want to shoot towards 400 horsepower, um, but it's going to be a little bit. Uh, so, but right now, it's my daily driver. So daily driver. It's, it's a, I bet it's a really cool daily driver. It's a very fun daily driver. Oh. Every day for sure. And uh, so how much did you pick this up for? I, I've heard these cars are quite affordable. Yeah. So so I picked this one up for 10. Um, you could find cheaper options. And if you want to, you can go a little bit more expensive, but they usually range about that price. Okay. So this is a, a pretty decent, affordable daily driver. I would then. recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah th this thing is awesome. And I, I just, I love the complete aesthetic of it. I'm, uh, you guys know I have a Focus ST. So I, I'm really big on the hot hatches, and I think this thing does it so well. Uh, if we can come, let's move to the back here. I want to kind of show them this here. I absolutely love the dual exhaust, uh, and I bet the Cork Sport makes it sound pretty good then. Yeah, yeah, it definitely opens it up. Um, it's one of the best exhaust systems you can get for a Speed 3, uh, and I highly recommend it if you do have a Speed 3. For sure. So how long have you owned the car for? So I've owned the car since last July, so it's coming up on a year. So all year. And with your time with the car, it's never given you any major issues or anything Nothing like that? Nothing at all. The only thing I've really had to do is oil changes and a little bit of suspension work just with old, uh, right. old, old suspension. Parts. I mean, it's a 10-year-old car. Yeah. And, and that, that's one thing I love about the Speed 3 is that it absolutely ages like fine wine. Yeah. This car is awesome. And in my first video, I talked about the competition this car had with the ST when it came out. Right. And this car like trumped the ST in every way when it came out. Uh, stock, it makes what about 280 uh, horsepower? I think it's 260 horsepower stock, and I think that's to the crank. Okay. So, and then with your modifications you have with, with the Cork Sport, the Cobb, what would you say it's making around for horsepower? So, right now, I think it's making a roughly 300 to the crank. I wouldn't know to the wheels. Right. You could take a guesstimate of 250, 260 to the wheels. So. Right. And and she, and she gets up there too. Yeah, yeah. I, I it it never lets me down on speed. So for sure, for sure. So so you've enjoyed the car, um, and and we talked about what you kind of wanted to do with it. Yeah. Um, now, what are some things that maybe you're not a fan of of the car? Um, honestly, there's not a lot to be honest. Some of the interior parts feel a little cheap. Um, right. But you'll get that with a Mazda. Um, it's harder to make horsepower on these motors just because of the connecting rods are not a fan of making horsepower right so if you do want to plan on making horsepower you're gonna to have to tear everything down and do internals For sure. um, that's one thing that i kind of wish was different i wish i could just put bolt-ons onto the car and then right make horsepower kind of like with an ls <laughs> right uh can we take a look at the interior yeah definitely yeah it's let's take a look at the interior seat, you can open it up. well that's all right and so the interiors on these cars aren't bad. One of my favorite things that's like really different with these cars is kind of this indent right here. And that, that's where, what that displays what, like temperature and stuff like that? Yep. The little indent yep. right there? So it has a bunch of different settings. It also shows what my AC is and stuff like that too. Okay, yep. And then you have your cob right here and that's just hooked up. <laughs> All right, so the, the camera stopped. Um, so we're just, we're zooming here. Uh, where we left off was the interior here. We were talking about the interior and that little that little indent right there, which you don't see much in many cars. So you said that it shows your AC and like temperature levels pretty much? Yep, yeah, so it gives me just basic information of what's going on in the car. There's right. not a lot of information that it gives you stock. That's why the Cobb is nice for these cars. For it gives sure. me every single gauge that I really need. Yeah, so. 100%. And so, you know, a Speed 3 is a relatively rare car. You don't see them all that often. Yeah, that's one thing I actually like about these cars is that 
when we had a big car show up by us recently and we didn't see a lot of these around and I feel like that's something that could definitely change in the future if these get out and get noticed. For sure and, I, and hopefully people you know find out about these cars through this video because these cars are good looking cars Yeah. And, and, and they're quick and it doesn't take much to really open them up and get them alive. Yeah. So that that's what I love about it. And the white, I, I one of my two favorite colors for these cars is probably the blue and the white. The blue is a really nice color. The, the blue is an awesome color. So I, I like it a lot. Thank you. Now, do you, do you do you get any compliments on this car? Is this a head turner? Uh, yeah. Um, the nice part about this car is that a lot of people don't know what it is. For sure. So you pull up to like an STI or something and they're like, oh, it's just a basic Mazda. Right. And they hear the turbo go and they're like, oh shit. Right. Now, I, I think, you know, with the car community, uh, is there anything, like, have you ever had hate on the car? Has there any been people talking crap about it? Honestly, or? not really. Some, like, Fiesta ST guys will talk a little shit, but, our crap, sorry. But uh, <laughs> No, you're good, man. Uh, no, yeah, I, a lot of people like it. And yeah. a lot, it's, the only people that really talk crap are people that don't like hot hatches. And right. if you don't like a hot hatch, then what are you doing? Right, hot hatches are awesome. Obviously, I own a hot hatch, and this is a good-looking hot hatch. So what we're going to do now, he agreed, he, he said we could drive it. Yeah. Um, so obviously, we're kind of going to be veering off what we usually do with the reaction. And I'm going to, you know, have a little bit more insight on how this car feels and drives. And I think this car is going to be more perfect than maybe the Q60 we reviewed or the Mustang because I have a r rival to this car. Uh, now, it's a friendly rivalry. Yeah. It's no, it's no, 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 uh, no hatred towards each other. Uh, but we're gonna get in it and see how, how this uh, maybe compares and what I like about it And I think it's gonna drive amazing especially with all the stuff you have done So we're gonna cue the edit look at this car and uh, all its glory and then we'll hop in the driver's seat so that little bit start tripping, we gon' get the bad shit Now on my back, she like living fast She wanna fall with me cause we gettin' cash I hit that bitch raw, I did that and I pass I did not learn shit in that motherfuckin' class I put that bitch like a bag of grass I'm tryna get all that bad cash Sorry, she wanna move fast so now we're in the Mazda Speed 3. Of course, I'm driving uh, at this time. Um, I'm not in the passenger seat like I usually am. Uh, so sorry, this is a little crooked. The holder that we're using is a little um, a little different uh, than mine. And I also am not very good at driving the Speed 3, apparently. Much different than my car. I'm so used to my car, uh, just in general, that it's, you know, I don't drive other, other manuals. I mean, you know, even though I do these videos, I'm always in the passenger seat. I don't have a chance to drive the manuals that I'm in. So this is really, really cool. And I can already tell this is a comfortable car. Thank you. This is a comfortable car through and through. And it's very driver focused just by where you're at. It's so easy to reach the, obviously the steering wheel, but it's it, it, the motion for shifting so fluid. I love it. It's, I, I already love that aspect of this car. Um, and then we're gonna take a stop here. Obviously, you know, I'm driving someone else's car. Uh, my commentation might be a little off. I want to focus more on the road, but also talk to you guys. Uh, so yeah, already, I mean, just driving this around as a daily driver, it's very daily driver. Yeah. It's a, da it's a daily driver. And of course, with Austin's permission, we might get on it here and there. Uh, Go ahead. And, and we'll see if it goes from daily driver to true hot hatch performance car. Um, but already, I mean, the Cork Sport exhaust feels sporty. The car feels reactive to, you know, what you're trying to do, and that's good. So we're going to, yeah, I mean, you can just feel the suspension. We're not going crazy right now, but it's definitely, it definitely reacts to your movements, and that's what you want. I mean, that's why you put uh, aftermarket, you know, suspension on your car. Um, hopefully that wasn't too loud for you guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this thing is definitely awesome. I love the turbo noises. Yeah. The, uh, and you got an intake on this car. Yeah, the intake really wakes it up. Yeah, it definitely really wakes it up. <laughs> it's just, it's so fluid. It's so ease of access. That's why I've always really, really enjoyed. Let's see, where can we go? Just this way? Uh, yeah, you can go that way. Why yeah. Not? Um, That's why I'm such a fan of hot hatches. Uh, because they just, they're so daily drivable. But when they need to wake up, they wake up. Right. And 
I, I love that so much. And the cluster is so easy. With that indent we were talking about, just, it, you don't have to like turn your head to look at things because you can't. I mean, with the hot hatches, you know, the performance cars and daily drivers, that, that's what they are. So you need the performance aspect and you know, you, you don't really have to take your eyes off the road for a very long amount of time to see what you need to see. And that's awesome. Now you got, uh, you know, the, the, the indent is pretty much more for that daily driving aspect. Of course, all of your, your performance aspect of what you need is in front of you. And that's what I mean by it is you got your PSI gauge right there, which is digital. That's really cool. My yeah. car's analog. I like the digital a lot more. Um, and then, you know, you got your, obviously your RPMs and your speed. And then uh, that's really what you need. Now he has a, you have the cob, exactly. So you know he also where this where the phone is at is where his cob is at. So you know he has more gauges in front of him that that are going to matter more. Uh, but when we talk about stock aspect, the car does present you with what you need. Um, looks like the bridge is out, so we're gonna have to turn around here. That's fine. Uh, but I mean, just driving this now. The Cork Sport does feel, it's a sporty suspension system, so, you BC know, racing. yeah, or B, BC Racing, sorry, it's okay. um, BC Racing coilovers, it, it's daily drivable, but I mean, you know, it's definitely more sporty, so it's not like the smoothest ride, we're not in like a Mercedes or a Maybach, right. you know, but that's, that's not a, a bad thing, you know, it's a, it's a sports car, that's, that's what those coilovers yeah, are. have yet to find a place to do a pull, however, um, I just like to say, we went through some construction, so obviously the roads were uneven there uh, and the, the car rode over it fine. I mean, these, these B, I mean, really that's just a test of the BC racing coilovers. Not, I mean, I guess not really the, the car in general, but these coilovers on this car make the car feel amazing. Uh, but that's to the, the fact that they're BC racing coilovers, which are just fantastic coilovers. Um, again, it has a sporty feel, but, uh, doesn't have the the track car feel not saying that there's like in the way of it's just so tight and just you know like rough but all right all right so we're gonna get back to a main road and do a pull and really see what this car can do all right we found a spot to do a pull so we're gonna do a few pulls and then we'll summarize the car up here Does it does it feel faster maybe you know in the it passenger does feel seat? Faster in the passenger seat. Yeah. Just because I don't have the control. So. Right, and that's usually how it goes. Yeah. You know, you, I've explained that in other videos that like you know you don't you're not in control, so it's like it's almost like scarier. Yeah. All right, we'll do a little we'll do a little fifth gear pull here, and then we'll summarize the car. how fast we're going it's so much i'm gonna yeah. be a very big baby about turning here with your car the thing with these cars is that the gearing is really short so yeah. like i in sixth gear going 70 miles an hour down the interstate I'm sitting at like 3000 rpm right so these cars aren't the best on gas um just because the rpms are higher <laughs> like that? Yeah. It's, it's a fun feel in your car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. I love this car. It feels so good. Uh, uneven roads really feel the BC Racing coilovers, but it still feels good. You're not like, your back's not hurting. Um, it, it's it's awesome. Yeah, it, it's so much different from my car. So, like, when I try to do that fifth gear pull, it, it just, you know, it would have been different in my car. And that's kind of, you know, because I'm not driving other people's cars all the time it's a little weird so forgive me with that if you want to make fun of me in the comments make fun of me in the comments i deserve it um but yeah so we're, we're, we're gonna get out and we're gonna just summarize the drive and we'll talk to austin here and you know kind of thank him for doing doing the video here and yeah. all right so driving the speed three 
Austin, thank you so much for letting yeah. us do this video. No problem. Uh, also, thank you for letting me drive. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, usually I'm in the passenger seat reacting, so being able to drive is really cool. Um, and it, you know, you love you love probably feeling that in the passenger seat, really feeling what maybe a passenger would feel in the yeah. car. Uh, and the car just drives awesome. It shifts great, drives great, and is a quick car. And definitely, there's a reason that there's a rivalry between the the Focus and the Speed Three, and it's just so apparent. And I think this car comes out on top. I, I love I love riding in it, uh, driving it. It's it's awesome. So thank you. Yeah, no problem. Good handshake. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.